Hey everyone, I'm Sabrina and welcome to my channel or welcome back. So today I'm coming to you guys with another affordable holiday look. I'm thinking about doing an olive green kind of look. We'll see what I come up with. So if you guys want to see how I got this look that you guys just saw in the intro, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so for my first time on YouTube, I've actually completed one eye first. I completed this eye. I did not want to be rambling because I didn't know what look I was kind of trying to go for. So I wanted to do one eye before I got into the tutorial. So I did that and this is the look I'm going for. So I'm going to recreate that on this eye for you guys. And this is basically just going to be an eye makeup tutorial. I'm going to do my face off camera and come back and show you guys my blush highlight and my lips. So let's get into the eye tutorial. So I told you guys this was going to be an affordable eye look. So I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to be putting that all over my lids. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my fingers. So after I'm done blending that out with my fingers, I'm going to take my Milk Eye Pencil from NYX. And I'm just going to be placing that on my eye and then I'm going to be blending that out using a brush. So after that, we're going to hop into our eyeshadows and I'm using the Coastal Scent Eyeshadow Hot Pots again today. And I am going to dip my brush into Oktoberfest. And it's this really pretty orange, burnt orange color. And I'm going to place that as my transition color today. I'm going to be taking olive wood from Coastal Scents and I'm going to place that right under that orange in my crease. Now I'm going to go back and forth in between the Oktoberfest and orange wood. Now I'm going to go back into the Oktoberfest and blend that out a little bit more. And then one more time I'm going to take my brush that I used for olive wood and I'm going to go back and blend that out some more. And this is just to deepen up any green that was lost. Now I'm going to go back into my milk eye pencil and I'm going to just clean up my lid area up to my crease a little bit more and I'm kind of going to extend my crease upward because I kind of have hooded eyelids just a little bit. So I'm going to clean up my eyelid and then a little bit above my crease. Now I'm going to take the color Deep Rose from Coastal Scents and with an angle eyeshadow brush, I'm going to place that in the area that's right above my crease. I'm going to take a little bit more of my eyeshadow pencil in Milk and clean up the area a little bit more. So now I'm going to wet the brush that I used before so it's dirty, but I used it on the other eye. I'm going to wet it with some setting spray. This is just the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist and I'm just going to spray that on my brush. And then I'm going to take the color Dark Golden Olive. This is the color Dark Golden Olive from Coastal Scents and I'm going to place that on the outer half of my lid.
And I like to wet my eyeshadows because it makes it more pigmented on my lid. I'm going to wet the other half of my brush for the other side of my brush and then I'm going to go into the color Kodiak from Coastal Sense and I'm going to place that on the inner half of my eyelid. Now I'm just gonna go back in a little bit more of the deep rose color and blend out the line a little bit. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I'm using the black felt tip eyeliner from Forever 21. And I'm just going to make my winged eyeliner using this. I'm going to follow the line of demarcation with the tape and then I'm going to make a line from that parallel to my top lash line. Now to jazz up the look a little bit, we're going to add some glitter into the inner corner and I'm using this Wet n Wild color icon shadow and it's in the color brass. And we're going to use this for the glitter in our inner corner today. So now for eyelashes, I already put this eyelash on over here. So we're going to use these number 20 eyelashes and these are from the beauty supply store and they're just a dollar. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So I completed my face makeup and then I went to change and do my hair and I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup with you all. So if you want to know how I did my face makeup, I did it really similar to how I did it for the last holiday video. So if you want those product details, please go look at that video and look at the list that is in the description box there. And the only thing different I did was I didn't use my Fawn concealer. I just used my Ruby Kisses concealer. And then also I changed my BH Cosmetics foundation and replaced it with my Matte and Poreless foundation from Maybelline. So those are the only two changes that I did. So now I'm gonna get on to the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna do under my eyes and I'm just gonna smoke out my eyes using olive wood and deep rose that we used before on our crease, okay? Now I'm going to tight line my upper waterline on my upper lash line using Swerve Pencil by Colourpop. And now I am going to line my waterline using this random cream eyeshadow pencil that's from like a random gift set I got from like Ross or something like two years back. And for mascara, I'm just going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. This one is just from CoverGirl. So now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to move on to my the rest of my face. And I'm going to be using blush next. So I'm going to take this blush from Black Radiance. And this is in the color Toasted and Almond. For highlighter, I'm using a highlighter from Forever 21. And I've had this for a few years. So I'm just going to mix this gold and champagne shade right here together for my highlight on my face today. Also going to take some and put it on my brow bone. For lips, I'm going to be taking NYX lip liner in dark brown and I'm going to be using this to line my lips. I'm going to use it to fill in most of my lips as well since I'm using a really light lip color. To finish my lips, I'm going to be taking this NYX or NYX matte lipstick and it's in the color Butter. And I'm just going to place that into the center of my lips. And now I'm going to use another NYX product and I'm going to use a butter gloss in the color Ginger Snap. To set my face, I'm going to use the Pixi Fixing Mist again, and I'm just going to spray it over my face, and then I'm going to be done. 
so this is the finished product everyone i hope you guys enjoyed my second holiday look stay tuned to my channel for more holiday looks i have coming up and i hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video also if you want to and don't forget to hit the little bell notifications down below so you can be notified every time i upload a video so why not come on back and have more fun with me until next time peace jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse 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 jingle that is love Aloma barely got that one though. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing if people love Aloma. Who wouldn't love Aloma? People really be hating me. I I don't want the man. And I don't give a damn. Huh? Nothing. Don't I need a man for that? See, I'm tired of y'all with these man jokes. Y'all be really, y'all don't be thinking that shit hurt my feelings. That should be hurting my feelings. Aww. My sister told me that yesterday. Oh, yeah. I was trying to give her advice. <laughs> and she was like, but Aloma, you're still single. <laughs> Girl, I shut up so quick. And I was like, Aww. that should hurt. Aww. Do you think I want to be like this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I chose this life? You'll, you'll find. You'll find the right person at the right time. Amen. Amen, Amen sister. Hey, hey, hey.